In this video I want to show you how to attach a power cable to a LED floodlight. Here we have two new LED floodlights, 20 watts each. These are the cheapest 20 watt floodlights I have found. The price of one is maybe five or six bucks. Let's unpack one. I open the package, I pull out the floodlight, and oh, and there we have <laughs> the instructions. <laughs> we don't need that. Who is still reading? the instructions. Before we begin, I would like to point out that in this case we work with alternating current of 220 volts. If you have never worked with high voltage before, do not engage without the supervision of someone with experience. Be careful, working with high voltage is dangerous. You are probably wondering why it is necessary to connect the cable to a brand new floodlight. Why isn't there one already? It would make sense to plug three wires into the socket, right? This is intended if you want to place the floodlight somewhere on a wall, facade or whatever, where you already have electricity and you just need to connect it. But we have other plans for this floodlight. I want to connect one or two meters of cable with a plug so that if necessary, I can turn on the spotlight where I need it at the given moment. I will use a power supply cable from a computer. I cut off this plug, which is intended to be plugged into the computer's power supply unit. Then I peel off the black insulation with a scalper, about three centimeters toward the end of the cable, in order to strip the three wires, from which I also peel off the insulation about one centimeter before the end. Then I twist the wire a few times, and I fold it to make it thicker. Now I need three clamps. I insert the wire from the cable with the plug into the terminal and screw in the screws. Sort in following order. Blue, brown, blue. Blue is neutral and brown is phase. Then I insert the wires from the floodlight and screw in the screws. In following order. Blue, brown and yellowish green. Blue is neutral, brown is phase and yellowish green is ground. Considering that we don't have a yellowish green on the power cable from the computer, we will pair it with one of the blue ones, like this. A quick check if the clamps are holding, and I do the first test by connecting the floodlight to the power outlet. Of course, with caution and high readiness to shut down quickly if something goes wrong. Now that we've seen that it works, let's wrap the joint with electrical tape. Now I'm going to test it again. In order to recap, let's do the other as well. But first we need another cable. I will remove the cable from an old defective floodlight. I unscrew the screws from the lid. I take off the cover. I cut the cables. I put the lid back on. I screw in the screws. I put away the old floodlight. I cut off the top of the cable to have a clean cut. I peel off the black part of the insulation. Then I strip the wires. I twist the wires. I cut three clamp terminals. I bend the wires to double the thickness. Now unpacking the second floodlight. Here the wire colors match. So not much brain is needed. I insert the wire of the cable with the plug into the terminal and screw in the screws. Then I insert the wires of the cable from the floodlight into the clamp and screw in the screws. I pull the wires to see if the clamp holds. Then a quick test to see if it works. Works great. I repeat the part with insulating tape. Another test. Huh, it seems to work. I pick up the waste and throw it in the bin. And that was it. If you like this video, like it, if not, then don't. If you have questions, ask in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that bell too to get notified when there is a new video on the channel. Hapik is also present on other social networks. 
links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, until the next video.